What I found very interesting and exciting about the Old Vine project when I first heard about it was the fact that it involved very, very old vineyards, something which I think is very authentic. And for me, that struck a chord in terms of where we've come from and where we're going. The farmers on the land currently were not getting prices which would make them happy. And I think the Old Vine project brought about a radical change in what good farming, good vineyards deserve to earn in terms of rands and cents per tonne of grapes. I think cover that collectively um, brought about a passion from the winemakers, from the owners, and we at Waterford immediately jumped on to the opportunity. While we didn't have our old vineyards of our own, uh, we will fairly soon. But we started with Chenin Blanc, and I think the story of Chenin Blanc has already been told many times. But the Old Vine project, for me, is something that truly fitted the Waterford way. And that's why we embraced it with both our winemaking and viticultural teams to become a part of the Waterford stable. We're visiting this morning the Botella Ray Valley, um, an old Chenin uh, Blanc vineyard that's been planted in 1966. The vineyard um, has been in the family for four generations and it's amazing to see that the knowledge and the history of the vineyards has been passed on to the coming generations and for the generations still coming. Um, vineyards go it goes through a couple of changes during its life cycle um, and the root, root development is one of the essential parts um, that creates the change in the vineyard. Um, the vineyard, the root system becomes bigger and goes deeper and uh, obviously it, it gets hold of the moisture in the soil deep down and the minerals in the soil and it creates a, creates a natural buffer for the vineyard to look after itself and um, it helps through tough seasons that it creates, a, it produces a more consistent um, grapes for us and uh, it helps with the winemaking process to make it more consistent. Chenin Blanc is very unique in South Africa. I find Chenin Blanc in South Africa has a lot of rich and warm flavours and has a very lovely soft and delicate acidity which is very different to Chenin Blanc which you find coming from France. Making Chenin Blanc in the Waterford Estate cellar we focus a lot on keeping our flavors neutral from a, from a wine making point of view. So that's why we have decided to use concrete eggs. Concrete eggs are neutral to aromatics uh, as well as they don't impart any textural flavors onto your wine. Whereas with oak barrels you'd find an obvious oaky smell on your wine as well as add uh, oak tannins which can sometimes lead to bitterness. Working with old vineyards is really special. Uh, these vineyards were planted in 1966 so we're really working with an old vine which has deep roots and we really want to accentuate the flavor of soil, uh, environment, terroir so to speak in the wine. So from a winemaker's point of view it's incredible to, to work with such vineyards as it gives you a sense of purpose of more than one generation responsible for making great wines. So. Hopefully with Waterford Chenin Blanc, you can express our passion and love for old vineyards and winemaking. Mm -hmm.